Good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Hey, guys. I've been uh, checking out one of the IVC machines that I have sitting here on my table. And, um, you know, I took apart one of them, which was a complete piece of junk. But as you can see, you got one good one here, and uh, which is the 870, and this is the 820. The 825, the people who owned it completely cannibalized the unit, and they really didn't have to do that. Um, I just discovered why they did it, and boy, what a travesty. Uh, if they just didn't, uh, you know, gut out the machine and, you know, taking out motors and things, which was not the problem on the machine that they took apart. Um, okay, so these two machines are working good. It was a missing motor uh, in the one... That they, that they had, that they gave me the 825. This one here, I'm just letting run a little bit, double checking everything on it. But uh, today, we're going to talk about the main problem with these machines. And apparently, the person who had these decks didn't realize it. And he ended up cannibalizing a machine that he did not have to cannibalize because it really isn't that big of a deal of a problem. But apparently, he, he thought it was something motor related and uh and, and the case was it wasn't all right here is the video head scanner okay as you can see i got it out with the wires all right and uh here's the upper drum of the scanner here's the uh lower drum of the scanner all right inside you have a bearing guys it's in this lower bottom part you have to take this apart and the, the bearings, they seize up, okay? I just got done changing the bearing in this scanner. So this is going to be like an extra scanner I'll have. And I'll put a head in this thing. And if anything goes wrong with these, I'll have an extra scanner to swap out. But as you can see, inside, there's a bearing on the lower part. I do have the exact size bearings. That was pretty cool that I had one that, that works in this unit. Swapped out the bearing, took the bearing out. The bearing seized. It seized up. And just locked probably from sitting or from heavy wear and tear but all right now as you can see it spins no problem it spins really well it's not locked up it's not making any noise look at that that's what you want so basically the problem with the third deck was he had a seized bearing in the scanner and I don't know if he was a repair tech or what the heck this guy was doing he ended up removing a major motor that connects to this unit. And without that motor, the scanner motor, you can't get the, the scanner moving. Because you see there's a belt that connects to the scanner that spins the scanner. And um, so apparently he, he cannibalized a very rare machine just because he didn't realize that, if, you know, if you, do, if you know how to work on these type of machines, is, you know, they just have bad bearings. I've changed a lot of these out on a lot of different type of scanners. This scanner had a frozen locked up bearing, so I changed it out, put a new one in, and as you can see, at high velocity, this thing is going to haul, and that's what it's supposed to do. No noise, look at that. That's what you call a repair, okay? It's basically an hour repair. If you know how to take the scanner out, change the bearing out, you could pop it right back in, and the machine would have been right back up and running. But he ended up cannibalizing it and taking out a motor that runs the scanner and something else. It was just a lot of parts that were missing on that machine. Total travesty. But anyways, you got this particular unit, which is working just fine. I'm just putting it through its paces. And you got the AV, IVC 870. You know, like I said, guys, these, these VTRs are very complicated. When you start getting in the mainframe video equipment like this, you gotta kind of have a little background in, in broadcasting repair, especially in been around the block a few times working on this type of stuff, so you you don't end up destroying a machine, which is what they did. I mean, I was just blown away. I cannot believe it. And then when the guy picked up these decks, he didn't even have the spare um, the spare motor and parts that were needed. So basically. You know, I, I don't have the parts to fix that unit, so we ended up scrapping it out for the best parts that could be used on these two at a later time. All right. Here is your your video head scanner amplifier board. It goes on it goes on the very top. That plugs in. Okay, this is a relatively simple thing. 
and then you connect your wires and all that goes inside. This comes out first. And then after you take it out, you got, you, this is your upper head drum. You got right there. Then you got these three screws that holds, holds it in place on all three sides, okay? So, and that makes contact with this coil here, which creates a signal which attacks from that signal from the video head to the electronics, you know, it's all it's all connected, pretty simple. But the biggest problem with this scanner, first of all, they're easy, they unplug, which is really cool. Once you change out the bearing in the bottom, which is what I did, okay, and I had another belt for it, so we got another belt for the, for the drive for the side. You know, this thing was completely locked up. It wouldn't even move. The bearing was completely frozen up. So that was the problem with the deck, and they, they just, started working on stuff that had nothing to really do with the problem you know in general cases yeah when motors go bad it's they will seize and yeah that that could be a very big issue but this wasn't a motor that was seizing this was the actual scanner that was seizing up so anyways guys we got the scanner look at that it now moves properly so we got a good replacement scanner and it makes it easy to put a new head in this thing because the the uh yeah, you know, it's simple to pop it in without the upper drum already in place. I can just pop the new head in, or, or a good head anyways, and then put this back together and we'll have a replacement scanner. So like I said, guys, when you work on mainframe electronics such as the IVCs, you really do need to know a lot about electronics, and you need to know about mechanics and mechanical parts. You know, if you're really a handy-duty guy and you work on a lot of things with bearings and parts and things, and you... You could get around the, you know, like I said, anything could be fixed. You just got to know how to isolate the problem. Unfortunately, they isolated the wrong problem, which ended up making this worse. So anyways, they made one machine that was could have been fixed in the garbage, but we just took all the main parts off. Today, we rebuilt the scanner as a, so we'll be able to put a, put a head in this thing, and it'll be, a, it'll be an extra scanner in case it needs to be swapped out in any of the IVC machines that I have. Hope you enjoyed this video.